Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how you can repair HD videos on your computer that are corrupt or not playing on any media player due to corruption. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'll make use of a HD video repair tool which even you can download by just visiting the site and clicking on the download now button to download this software. So what I'm going to do is I'll make use of this software and I'll repair a corrupt high definition video on my computer and I'll show you how easy it is to repair videos using this software. So after you've downloaded the software, install it on your computer and launch it. Upon launching the software, this is how the main screen looks like. So all you'll see on the main screen are three buttons. They are healthy file, corrupted file and the repair button. So even before I can select the files for repair, I'll quickly play the corrupt video and I'll actually show you that it's corrupt before repair. So this is the corrupt HD video that I'm going to repair using this software. I'll play it. And here you can see that Windows Media Player gives me an error saying that the file is corrupt and cannot be played. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll repair this video using this software and make it play again. So coming to this video repair software, all I see are just two buttons on the right hand side, the corrupted file and healthy file. The corrupted file button lets me browse my computer and select a corrupted HD video which needs to be repaired. So I'll click on the corrupted file button and select this corrupt video which needs to be repaired. And here I see the healthy file button which is nothing but it lets me browse another healthy high definition video which is of the same file format as that of the corrupted file. The software makes use of a healthy file to repair the corrupted file. The healthy file is basically used as a reference to repair the corrupted file and you need to make sure that the healthy file is of the same file format as that of the corrupted file. I have another healthy file which I'm going to select and before that I'll play the healthy file and show you. Here you can see that the healthy file is playing fine. So the software is going to use this file as a reference to repair the corrupt video. So I click on the healthy file and select this healthy video which I just played. And finally you can see on the screen that I have selected a healthy file and a corrupted file that needs to be repaired. And both these files are of high definition. Now since I selected the two videos, I'll click on repair and proceed further. The software now begins to repair my corrupt video using the healthy video as a reference. And once the repair process is completed, the software gives me a description of the repaired video. I see a preview button here which lets me preview the repaired file to make sure that it's been repaired successfully. So I'll click on this preview and check if it's repaired successfully. Okay, and here you can see that the software has repaired my video and it's playing fine. So what I'm going to do next is I'll click on save and save this repaired video to a folder. I'll save it back to the same folder from where I selected the two videos from. And this is the default name given by the software to the repaired video. I'll click on save. Software saves the repaired video to that folder and takes me directly to that folder once the saving process is completed. So that's the folder which has all the three videos. This is the corrupt video which was selected by me. This is the healthy video and this is the repaired video. I'll play the repaired video. And it's playing fine. So this software was able to repair my corrupt HD video in just a matter of seconds. So if you have a high definition video which needs to be repaired, then just download the software from the link that I provided below and repair all your high definition videos in just a matter of minutes. This software can repair HD videos of any length. As you could see, it just took me a few seconds to run this software and repair my corrupt video. 
so don't waste your time and reply your videos before it's too late. Anyway, thanks for watching.